Hello everybody! Today we consider how Tektronix RSA 306B works under control of Radio Inspector software package. Tektronix RSA 306B is a real-time spectrum analyzer developed with SDR technology. We will test spectrum analyzer with hardware version 7.0, firmware 1.7, API 3.0, Point eleven point double zero four hundred seventy and FPGA two point one. Please note all information presented in this video describes work of Tektronics RSA three hundred six B with such kind parameters only. Let's switch our program to the frequency range scan and inspection mode to see how works this instrument. We set up frequency range from 25 MHz to 6200 MHz with bandwidth 10 kHz and video bandwidth 1 kHz. The instrument connects through a computer via USB 3.0 interface. Drivers placed in additional folder on installation CD easy to install. You just need to copy these files to the main programs folder. This folder usually has path like C program files x86, Radio Soft, Radio Inspector RT or Radio Inspector RC folder. The instrument supports all standard processing modes. Frequency range scan and inspection, RF signal analysis and performance measurement, and discrete frequency inspection. All these modes use a standard mode of the device named Spectrum. Let's add some tasks. Select different scanning parameters. For example, frequency range from 108 to 138 MHz with bandwidth 1 kHz and video bandwidth 0.3 kHz. The next frequency range from 380 to 510 MHz with bandwidth 3 kHz, VB 0.3 kHz and scan step link to the bandwidth. The third frequency range from 880 to 960 MHz, this is a mobile communications range. Select bandwidth 30 kHz and scan step 15 kHz. And here the frequency range will be from 1705 to 1880 MHz with bandwidth 30 kHz and video bandwidth we select 1 kHz for both tasks. Now we press start button for all tasks. Let's stop the whole frequency range scanning and we will use four selected frequency ranges. I switch on graphs of maximums. Tektronix RSA 306B supports digital analysis of following digital communication standards EPCO 25, Tetra, DMR, Analog TV, GSM, UMTS or 3G, DECT, Bluetooth and 802.15.4 standard AK Zigbee. To run analysis of these standards, the Radio Inspector software package should include a digital test option. Let me show you how our software demodulates an analog TV signal. Set the cursor onto the signal of interest, select the modulation option Analog TV, and choose bandwidth in according to the bandwidth of a TV signal. Here we can see an advertising of a telecom operator.
The range of bandwidth begins from 1 kHz and finishes at 40 MHz. Pretty good parameters. Let's open window of the digital test option and try to study decked signals in our premise. Here you can see two bases are working now around us. A Bluetooth demodulator allows us to see devices that use this communication standard. There is a device with broadcasting packets in the list, and another one is working in a healing mode. In a healing mode, device uses lab address instead Mac. Such can detection can provide only one software package on the market, Radio Inspector. As you can see, the Tektronix 306B can be used in various tasks in common with Radio Inspector. The instrument includes digital demodulators for audio extraction of different types of modulation like AM, FM, with the demodulation bandwidth from 1 kHz to 5 MHz. It means if we need to demodulate audio signal AM or FM, it can demodulate signal with bandwidth up to 5 MHz by its own resources. In addition to standard options in RF signal analysis mode, Tektronix 306B provides demodulation of selected signal with simultaneous spectrum monitoring. The instrument also supports zero span mode, what is clearly observed on GSM signals. Here we can see the time slots of GSM signals. Let's increase the sample rate and exclude a tuning imperfection. OK, here we can see the time slots very clearly. It's a zero span mode. Let's return to standard scanning mode and consider how works audio demodulation with continuous spectrum inspection. For instance, we select the frequency 105 mirrors. As you can see, we are listening to the demodulated audio during spectrum scanning. I draw your attention to the fact that the modulated signal may have a carrier different from the center frequency of inspected frequency range. There is only one restriction. The frequency of a signal should be within selected frequency range. To change frequency, an operator should press Alt button and click on the frequency of interest. Another one important moment to get simultaneous spectrum scanning in audio demodulation, the FFT plus sound detector must be selected. To save an EQ flow, the operator selects the frequency of interest, desired simple rate and bandwidth, and then presses Save EQ button. All these selections the operator should do when spectrum scanning process is running. The software allows to choose two different ways of recording. The first is the fast record to random access memory and then storing obtained data to the hard drive. The second one is the record on the hard drive directly. It depends on what kind of hardware is used because the first option requires a sufficient RAM capacity, but the second option requires a really fast data transmission between RAM and hard drive and a high performance CPU. 
Meanwhile, FFT average option is also useful in this mod. Take note, the noise floor is significantly decreased after selection 120 FFTs. It's a very reliable means to reduce a noise level and it's even more effective than video bandwidth. If an operator needs to display information about AQ flow, he should press the signal's digital processing button and adjust the required parameters with detonation and filters. Thank you for your attention.